Hello everyone, and welcome back to RuneScape. So we're still in the middle of the double XP weekend, but something important is about to happen that you guys need to witness, which is, of course, Agility 99, which might be the only 99 I get during the actual DXP weekend. I'm not really pushing for any others, but we will see. But anyway, let's go ahead, and uh, this will be the one that gets us the level. Ow, we hurt ourselves. And there we go. Hooray. Now we can get multiple crystal skull chompas. Also, the cape. So yeah, that is that. A good goal to get out of the way. I've always done agility on DXP weekends, even from the very beginning. It's just a skill that I have trouble getting the motivation to train, unless it's getting a higher XP rate. So yeah, that is that. Uh, something else is I did upgrade this to the tier 2. I don't think I have enough to upgrade anything else right now, but we could go look, I guess. I think you can... Can you access the upgrade box from here, or is it only for this one? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure that is. I also upgraded the bait box to level 2, because apparently I hadn't done that yet. I thought I had, honestly. Anyway, you can go ahead and manage base camp. Type in my ultra secret code that's probably gonna get changed soon and uh, yeah here we go I have 75 I don't know what we're saving up for oh you know what I think we're saving up for this and we're gonna get it because that way I'll be ready for the skill cape stand whenever the time comes let's go ahead and upgrade that there we go player lodge is upgraded Oh, look at how fancy this place is getting now. It's getting all sorts of upgrades. But yeah, anyway, so. Obviously, since I got 99, it is time for us to go grab the cape. Even though this is wasting DXP, who really cares? I mean, it's just 2x XP. Realistically, I've still got over half the time left, and I'm not going to put all of it to good use. Some of it's going to be wasted. It's a lot more time than I normally get. Uh, the because I've never played that much on a DXP weekend, as far as I'm aware. I think I would be aware if I had. Unless, you know, my mind wiped it out because of how terrible it was. Oh. I mean, I'm sure I've done 20 hours before, which we haven't even hit that yet. But 36, no. All right, we're going right here. I got to remember where I'm going. I did do a little bit of Big Game Hunter. I don't know that it's worth doing for the XP you get. This the guy you get it from? Koi Captain. Yeah, yeah, conversations. Is it true you sell the skill capes of agility? I have the money right here. All right, so there we go. I always liked the agility skill cape, like the appearance of it and the emote I like as well. Also, yeah, I've actually been using my magic carpet for the first time, uh, which is crazy because I've never bothered with it before. Anyway, cape emote. Yeah, I like this one. It's a fun little emote. So yeah, there is the agility cape. Its perk is you don't fail any obstacles, which is, you know, probably useful if it works on the Anachronia course, because I think if I did the Anachronia course for hours and hours, I might actually run out of HP. Um, I don't plan to do it for hours and hours, but in theory I could. Oh wait, we need to go back to Anachronia. I actually have something to do now that we have the cape. I mean, the cape wasn't related to it. I just wanted to get the cape out of the way. But yes, there is something important to do, because in a very close um, luck, we got enough codex pages to actually make a tradable codex. So, I think Escape might have a higher value on the GE right now, but I'm kind of suspicious about that. I don't know why it would be. And I I know that um, Surge has gone up in past day, I think. So, either way, as long as I get over 40 million, I'm completely happy with this transaction here of spending however many hours I spent and getting uh, 40 million out of it. So, let's hop on over to the GE real quick and find out how much money I made from my agility. I didn't start out at zero codex pages. I think I had like 300 or so, maybe 400. 
you know, somewhere below 500 was where I was at when I started this. I think I'm near 100 laps total done as well. Anyway, I also got one of these a while back from the Ark. It sold. I was surprised how much it was worth. But yeah, see, if I get that much, I'm completely satisfied. If I get more, whatever. Didn't sell instantly. That's sad. I will try this plus one. There we go. Ended up getting 43 million. See the exact number, please? No. Apparently we're not allowed to see the exact number I made. But there we go, 77 million. It's a good amount of money. I'm satisfied with it. So now let's go ahead and head on over here to the good old Max Guild. Because we have something else to do here. I also feel like I'm forgetting something. I was going to do something else in this, and I cannot remember what it was. It was involving the spirit tree. I'm going to take the spirit tree somewhere, and I can't remember where. Uh, but anyway, yes, we're unfurling the agility one. It's right here. There we go. All right. So yeah, this episode will also pick up later on after either I get another 99 or something else important happens, or otherwise, you know, we just uh, have uh, the end of the DXP, and I need to tell you what all I did. I wish I could remember what I was going to do here. But I genuinely do not remember. I think I was going to actually take it to Brimhaven. But anyway, I don't have the tree over in Arduin yet, but one thing I forgot to check out in the last episode is the uh, farming guild, because they turned Manor Farm into a farming guild. And I've not even seen it yet. I don't know what it looks like. I think it's the upstairs. Yeah, apparently there's this ridiculous plant now. I saw people complaining about that. And yeah, that is a bit weird. Yeah, we can head on upstairs. Secret upstairs area where there's the remote farm device, which I don't know if that's like the spell, but we have to gain farming guild stuff, which I didn't even talk about the farming guild last time. I don't know exactly where you start the farming guild stuff. But it's something that I'll have to look into after DXP is over, because I'm not going to waste time on that right now. Art Farm Requester. Yeah, I think these are the things. You you say you'll help these guys, um, and you can do a thing. Medium, easy requester. And he's requesting um, rosemary seeds times 12 and a chicken. And he'll give... Farming reputation. But yeah. I think it works similar to these guys where they leave like every X days. The easy ones would leave every day and come back with a new request and meet every three days or something. Something along those lines. I have no idea. That is something that we will look into in the future. Oh, look at this. We can see this nice handy thing right here with all the things that they need. Elder Rune Bar is interesting. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, I will see you guys later after DXP where we will see the rest of my gains. All right, everyone, double XP is over. I did manage to use the full 36 hours on this account. Just barely made it in last night, right before the end. But I'm relatively happy with what I got done. Honestly, I wasted a lot of time probably, but I still made good progress on my skills. So let's go over what's changed since the first part of this episode. So first of all, I gained another ranged level. I gained a rune crafting level. I gained a construction level. I gained a herblor level. I gained two hunter levels from Big Game Hunter, which I was doing in the hopes of getting an egg, but I didn't get any eggs. Apparently they're ridiculously rare. If I had gotten one, I would have sold it for good cash. Um, I only got two of the new seeds from Big Game Hunter. The first one was Stink Shroom, I think, and it sold really well. Uh, the second one was Lychee, if that's how you pronounce it, and it took forever to sell at GE price. So I don't know if that's just because over the day or two between those, the prices all crashed or what, but yeah, that was a bit disappointing. I'd hoped I'd made another few hundred K from that, but no. Still though, I'm probably going to do Big Game Hunter all the way up to 99, just because I do still need the 
totem pieces and the dinosaur drops for the actual uh, what you might call it the uh, the base there the camp um, and uh, finally I did get 94 to 96 wood cuttings so that I can chop bamboo and very importantly for this we did get up to basically 99 fire making I of course left it for you guys so we will have to go ahead and take care of that and I've decided to take care of that by adding the strange rocks that I had lying around and there we go fire making 99 where arson is its own reward get the epic music that I talked over we can now do Barbarian Fire making Elder Logs. I think it's crazy that these don't unlock until level 99. It's like a lot of skills don't have much at 99, but Fire Making does. Very strange. Anyway, yeah, so we can go ahead and hop on over. Let's do things out of order a little bit. Why not? Mostly because I always forget to do this and I really want to get this done because something that I didn't think of was that when they added 120 Farming and Herb Lore, it unlocked it again at the um, daily challenges, and you can't lock it until you hit 120. So we're stuck with the terrible farming ones that still give less than 4k XP even at level 120, apparently. Apparently it's that bad, so that sucks. So yeah, let's go ahead and block this so that we have one less crap daily challenge that we don't want to do. And then uh, let's go on over here. We will unfurl our banner, as is the way of things. So yeah, um, I think theoretically we could get the max cape this year. I don't know if I will though, just because I don't want to take too much time away from the Twisted League. I want to do good in that. So if I get bored of it, I'll put time into that. But otherwise, I'm sure we'll probably get at least one more 99, but I don't know if I will go for the max cape until the end of the Twisted League. Now at the end of the Twisted League is like a week or two before archaeology comes out, so... We won't have much time to get inside of the Max Guild before we get kicked back out of it. But that might be how things end up going, just because I do want to put good focus into the Old School RuneScape Twisted League, because it's a lot of fun, and I've missed doing it for the past week. I spent a little bit of time in it, but not much. Just times where I couldn't focus on this for whatever reason. All right, so now we have to find Ignatius, which is uh, somewhere around here. Kind of wish that they had a better spot for some of these people. There he is. Running all over the place, lighting fires. All right. Help you at all. Can I buy a skill cave? Have the money right here. All right, so let's combine it together. Get over to a clearing. Flip this thing. There's the glorious fire making cape. I think it's a pretty good cape. I mean, sure, orange is my favorite color and all. So you know, there's that. But I think I like the fire making cape. I'm not gonna wear it because I don't need the effect now that I'm fire making 99. But uh, it is interesting nonetheless. All right, so we need to look at the emote for it. Take a giant fireball. And that's it. Pretty boring emote, all things considered. But yeah, so that is a double XP out of the way. One of my more productive ones, thanks to the DXP weekend effect. Not that I really spent it on anything particularly important, you know, just agility, fire making, and random junk. But uh, hey, look at that. I sold some pie meat that I got from a divine box trap. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to try to do Big Game Hunter and get up to 99 Hunter before the end of the year for sure. I'm doing a little bit of work on crafting just because I want to have 4,000 Harmonic Dust for when Archaeology comes out so that we can get a Crystal Matic. Maybe I'll get two of those because if it's uh, anything like the other skills, I would want an Augmented one and also one on the Tool Belt. So maybe I'll get 8,000. Either way, that will hopefully at least get me up to 96 crafting. It won't get me all the way to 99 because it's a terrible XP rate. Also get a little bit of construction XP from that, which is good because construction is probably the skill I'm most worried about for getting 99 and is one of the big reasons why I can't commit to getting it this year. 
Because I can just AFK a lot of these skills and I don't mind. But uh, construction, and to a lesser extent crafting, are skills that I don't want to spend all that money on just to rush them out, just for an arbitrary goal at the end of the year. But yeah, that, I mean, that's how it is for now. Uh, other things I did get, um, like I said, I didn't get the totem pieces or the dinosaur drops from Big Game Hunter, but I did get a compass piece, which is an achievement that we can do. I think it counts as a mini quest, maybe? I have no idea. You can look at the quest list. Uh, ah, there it is. Um, is it this one? No required items. I don't know, it might be this, or it might be completely separate from this. I have no idea. Point is, I did get the item, so now we can at least do that in a future episode. Um, as far as Anachronia is concerned, actually, we can go ahead and hop over there. I have the supplies necessary to upgrade my uh, Slayer camp, is it? What, whatever they call them. The Slayer area. I can upgrade that. Um, it doesn't use the resources used to upgrade the bait box, I believe, so it won't take away from that. I'm about a day away from the Tier 3 bait box, which I really want, because it would definitely make Big Game Hunter a little less annoying. Be able to deposit the um, Pavosaurus Rex meat instead of having it fill up my inventory, because it's not a bait, so it can't go in the bait box. Ah, Slayer Lodge, that's what the word was. So yeah, we can go ahead, upgrade this, gives us a 3% damage boost. It'll be useful next time I get a dinosaur task. Also means we will be ready for this. Just gotta save this stuff up again. Um, after I get the bait box, I'll start working on filling up all of these so that we can do whichever one we get the item requirement for first. It does annoy me how long it's taking. I see people say, oh, I got two of them in 15 minutes from uh, butterflies or something. It's like, well, I've done 15 minutes of butterflies. I've not gotten any. I am not that lucky. And actually, to give an example of my luck, I finally got the fishing pet on my main account at uh, 116 fishing, compared to this account, which I believe got it before level 99. Could be wrong on that, but it feels like a lot of the pets on this account were before 99. A lot of the pets on that account are way past 99, which sucks. Uh, but at least I did get it before I reached 120 Invention, because I am one siphon away from 118 Invention on that account. Which, uh, I might push for 120 Invention on there this year, just to get out of the way. Don't spend too much time on that account. Uh, just because, you know, I consider this one, this one's becoming my main account. I don't know, I feel like I have better luck on this account, and obviously doing it for YouTube has more of a purpose than just playing the other account just because it's older. And uh, soon this one will be maxed out, and there will be very little advantage to the other one, except for, like, the discontinued stuff it has from all-day events and all that. Which just don't hold the value they used to with all the cosmetics in the game. But yes, anyway, that is enough rambling, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. We'll probably be doing Anachronia stuff, because, of course... We do have the Ranch Out of Time, which I have gone ahead and bought a couple, I believe I bought Salamander Eggs, two of those, male and female, got lucky, first try, and I went ahead and plopped those in there. I don't know how long they take to grow, might be eight hours or something, I have no idea, that's a complete guess. I glanced at the wiki, it didn't seem to have all the information loaded. There was something that mentioned eight hours, but it, the rest of it seemed so blank that I don't know if I trust it. But if you look at this, I did gain some points on the farming guild. Uh, that was just from all my harmonic um, pillars in Prif had filled up, and they gave a good amount of stuff there, so we are making progress on this, at least. Very low progress. But uh, at least it's something. Also, I haven't been to this farm in a while, haven't I? My farmhand has a new unchecked animal for me. Which is interesting. All my stuff's diseased. I'm working on setting up a reminder system. Especially important now that we have Ranch at a time. I'm going to get a reminder. I'm actually just going to build a reminder system into my website that anyone can use. Probably. That's the goal. It's been my goal for years though. So when I say it, it's like, yeah, it may or may not happen. But that is the idea that it would 
be a list and it'd say like, oh, have you checked your animals today and stuff like that? And let me check things off. I know things like that already exist, but it works better for me when I make it myself. More motivated to use my own websites. Also, then I can build it in so anytime I visit my website, it bugs me. Which is a lot better than having to set some other thing up to remind me separately. A lot more likely to pay attention. Yeah, at some point we gotta get to work on this because obviously I need to get 120 farming so we can disable those stupid crappy daily challenges. That just suck so much. Like, even if they just let it go up to like giving 8k XP at 120, that would at least be something, but... Getting like 3,900 something XP when you're in the hundreds is just, like, it was bad before, but now it's just silly. I hope they fix that. Um, yeah, it's kind of random what does and doesn't scale to 120 as well. Like, some things do, some things don't. They don't seem to really care about consistency on that front. Which sucks, because it'd be nice if there was a bit of consistency. I think pretty much everything should scale up to 120 in some shape or form. It doesn't have to follow the same curve that 1 to 99 did. Like, if they didn't want it to be overpowered for certain minigames and stuff. But having at least a little bit of an increase would make sense. But anyway, we're done. I'll see you guys next time on Anachronia. Bye!